that, gentlemen? That is the sound of progress. All right, I've gone through the data. The ether in this universe is quite condensed. Of course. Because of ether, the undead are drawn to us during these nightly storms. We need to clear out these crystals, and fast. It won't only be just a few enemies on us once night falls. Oh, go. Bring me material we can actually use. What are you waiting for? Hurry up with that salvage. It's getting dark now. Very nice. It looks like this universe has plenty to offer after all. This will not only repair the temple, but I also might be able to do something more creative. It's dark. A storm is picking up, and there will be many strong enemies outside the base. You need to return now. My latest masterpiece is finally ready for field testing. This shield will protect you from the storm, so long as you remain in its perimeter. Now, feast your eyes on your new automated defense turret system. A pinnacle of my genius and your heart. The best feature? It's the one thing in this wretched place that doesn't require ether to function. Attacking at night. Take good care of the control center. I'll focus on repairing the teleport. I've added easier energy parameters to the turret's auto aiming system so it can automatically target these creatures. You want to adjust the turret positions to ensure they have the best position. Damn it! Enemies have broken down the facilities outside the control center. Well done, but keep your guard up. My scans are detecting more monsters. In I took a crack at creating upgrade blueprints. Here, you can try using collected components to upgrade your turret. When all else fails, do what I often do in these situations. Use mining. More enemies are appearing on the radar. Keep going. The Isa energy collector is working now. And keep it from being destroyed. Wait a minute. I found the coordinates of our target universe. It's, it's as if there's an energy radiating from it. 